Hi, I'm Andrew Malkov. I've been a programmer for more than 25 years, and now I work at Microsoft. If you want to learn how to program, but you don't know where to start, this video is the right place, because I want you to be a programmer as well. So welcome to my series. The first decision that you have to make as a programmer is what language do I start with? And the answer to this question is not simple because it really depends. There are a lot of programming languages and each come with its own strengths and weaknesses. For my series, I've chosen to go with C-sharp. It can be used to develop web, mobile and desktop applications. And you can run these apps on Windows, Linux, Android, Mac, iOS and of course in the cloud. In my series, you will learn how to get started programming with c -sharp. You will create your own programs as well as make your own websites. So, subscribe to my channel to not miss my next videos, because I can make you successful and you can be a programmer as well. But before you will write your first program, you need to set up your development environment. And this video is exactly about it. But what does a development environment mean? To be able to program, you need to have some software, or in other words, tools, installed. As a minimum, you should have a framework and an integrated development environment, or shortly IDE. For now, you can think that the framework is a toolbox with a bunch of tools inside, which will help you to accomplish your job better and faster. It is kind of the foundation and you will build your programs on top of it. To program in c -sharp, you have to use a .NET framework. Another tool that you need is IDE, which is a software application that normally consists of at least a source code editor, build automation tool and a debugger. So you will use IDE to write your programs, run your programs and debug or in other words troubleshoot your programs. And to program in c -sharp, you can use Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. In my series, I'm going to use Visual Studio because it's easier to use and provides more functionality than Visual Studio Code. So, with this explanation in mind, let's get .NET Framework and Visual Studio set up. I switch to my Windows machine and I open my browser. I type an address, which is visualstudio.com and I click enter. I scroll down a little bit and I see the link download Visual Studio. It provides me the three edition of Visual Studio that I can download. It's a community, professional and enterprise. I will download the community because it's completely free for individual developers, academic users and open source and I click on Community 2019. And as you can see, it downloads the file. I click on Open File. I will minimize my browser and I click Continue. First, it will install a Visual Studio installer. And it's done. To install Visual Studio, we have to select what components we want to install with the Visual Studio. So I'm going to select ISP.NET and web development to be able to develop websites and web applications. Then I'm going to select .NET desktop development to be able to create a console application and desktop applications. And then I will scroll to the bottom and select that I'm going to also install a .NET Core cross-platform development, which will actually install the .NET Core framework. And it's enough. So I click Install. And then I have to wait a little bit to let the Visual Studio install. And now the Visual Studio installer is going to download all the needed components and install it. So let's wait a little bit. And it's finally done. On my machine, the whole process took about 14 minutes. 
You can tell me in the comments to this video how long it was for your machine. So now I can close my Visual Studio installer. The first thing that I want to tell you is that when you install your Visual Studio, it also automatically installed a framework. So you don't need to install a framework separately. Another thing that to use Visual Studio, of course, it's preferable to create an account if you don't have a Microsoft account. So you can click create account here. But in my case, I'm going to say that I will create it later. I click not now. Before the Visual Studio started, it asks us about our preferences. The first thing that we need to select is development settings. So I open it and I select Visual C Sharp. The next thing, we need to select a theme for the Visual Studio. In my case, I select light, but you can select dark if you prefer to have it in a dark mode. And I click start Visual Studio. And the Visual Studio is started. To be sure that we have a framework also installed, I open my Windows terminal. By the way, I really recommend you to install Windows terminal if you don't have it yet. You can use this link to my video to know how to do that. But right now, in my terminal, I will type .NET dash dash version just to see what version of the framework is installed on my machine. And I click enter and I see that the .NET 5.0.1.0.2 is installed. The 5.0.1.0.2 is the latest version right now. I close my Windows terminal. So right now you successfully installed your development environment. You installed .NET Framework and Visual Studio and everything is ready to jump to our IDE to Visual Studio and start writing your first program. But this is the topic for my next video. So subscribe to my channel to not miss it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.